This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I chat about photography, videography, all that kind of like creative life stuff. So if that's your jam, hit subscribe below, stick around and you'll learn a lot of cool stuff. Today I'm talking about how to really make your photos stand out by adding video to them. So I guess technically this is just about how to make videos, but these are more like photographic videos. Some people call them cinemagraphs, some people call them moving photos, and there's two dominant ways that people usually teach how to do this. One way is to, you know, take a video, then make it into a still and keep part of it rolling. The second way is to use apps and stuff to like artificially animate parts of your photos to give the illusion it's moving. I'm not talking about either of those ways. I have a third way that I really, really like, and that is to overlay video onto your photos. Why I like this method, it's super easy. You can do it in five minutes. You can decide after the fact that you wanna make a cinemagraph. I think a lot of the time you kind of see them and you're like, oh, I should have done this or that. But this way you can actually decide in post. You could see a cool photo you took and be like, video would work really well here and you can still go ahead and make it. And then the third reason is that you can take a lot of creative liberties because you can use video clips not at all from the scene. So you could do some really, really cool stuff with it. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that on kind of a starry night long exposure photo that I took. I think it's gonna be really fun. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is pick and edit your photo. And as you're editing your photo, try to think about what element you could use to incorporate video into that picture. So for this one that I'm gonna use, this was a long exposure, a nighttime shot that I took a couple weeks ago in California. And the cool thing about the shot is, as I was editing it, I was kind of thinking about how in that actual moment when I was really there, it looked like the stars were kind of like twinkling, turning off and on. And I thought, oh, it'd be so cool if I could actually show that in a photo. Well, you can't show movement in a photo, but I thought, you know what, I could go in in post and add some twinkling stars to this picture. So I think that would be really cool. So try to pick a photo that video will really enhance it. So this is the photo that I'm going with. This is the edited version. This is before any edits, just raw. Edited it up to look like this. So you're gonna export your photo and open it up in Premiere to edit the video. All right, so I'm in Premiere and I set up my project to be a vertical video so that I can actually post it on Instagram and it'll look perfect. So now what I need to do is I need to go get the video element. Now when I was there, I didn't film anything. I didn't do any videos of the stars or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into Storyblocks and I'm gonna find a stock clip that I can use. So just go ahead and bring up Storyblocks. It's super easy to use, so I'm just gonna go to search and I'm gonna type in stars. We'll see what they have. Now, they have a ton of options. Now, the main thing is, is that you kinda have to pick a clip that's gonna work with your photo. So these ones where the stars are actually moving around, that's not gonna work for my picture because it is still just stagnant. So I want the stars to just stay in one spot. I just want them to be kind of like twinkling on and off. So I'm just gonna go look through until I find one that is like that. The other thing is, is that you kind of want the background for this to be very, very basic because we're gonna kind of screen out the background and lay it onto your photo. So this one actually is perfect for what I need. So you just go ahead, click into the video, make sure it's what you want, pick how you wanna download it and click download. So now that I downloaded my stock clip, I'm gonna go back to my project file and import that. So I have it in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag it on top of the photo. Let's just zoom in on that, make it easier. Now you'll notice this is a lot bigger than it needs to be, so I'm really gonna just scale that baby back. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring down the opacity just so that I can kind of see where it is. I want this line to kind of match up with the horizon line there. So that's really good. Now, as you'll notice, uh, it's not really working on top of it. So we're gonna go to blend mode and pick screen. So now all the kind of black elements of the video are taken out. 
but we still have it going over top of elements that it shouldn't. So the mountain, the trees, we need to mask out that element so that the stars are only on the sky. So to do that, it's actually really, really easy. We're just gonna go and click this little tool here, the free draw, and we're gonna just literally draw a mask around our little area there. You're probably gonna wanna zoom in to do this because it is a little bit tedious, especially if you wanna do a good job. So you're just kind of kind of go all the way around like this. And honestly, you don't have to be like super exact, but try to be as careful as you can. So once you go along meticulously, you mask out everything that you don't want the video to be on, you're gonna get something that looks like this. And I think that this looks really, really cool because when you first look at the photo, you don't really know if maybe your eyes are playing tricks on you or if it is actually moving. So I think that this is something that really enhances the photo. All right, so that's how easy it is to add video to your photos. Now, if you want a place you can go to to get unlimited videos, to do any creative kind of cinemagraphs that you want, go check out Storyblocks. The link is in the description. It's storyblocks.com slash Lucy Martin. They have a awesome stock footage video library, After Effects templates, Instagram templates, text templates, literally anything you could want they have on there. And for me, it just really helps me be creative and spontaneous and just have fun making photos and videos. So definitely check them out. Also, if you guys make a cool cinemagraph using this technique this week, let me know on Instagram. I'm gonna have this one posted on there if you wanna see it right now. It's at the Lucy Martin, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.